Hey, do you like flying? Do you like MMORPGs? Do you like cows? Do you like to watch me suffer writing proper physics networking code? It's getting worse. That work. Rotation is getting worse. <laughs> Seems like some out. kind of error is accumulating, yes. Then buckle up, because in this devlog we're going to explore all of these areas. This is the continued story of making my own multiplayer RPG game. Welcome back to my devlog, this is Tantan. Let's go. I have a lot of groundwork to do before the actual gameplay takes shape, so I decided to focus on a quick way to add some actual gameplay. A flying minigame, it's a course with hoops, and you have to complete it as fast as you can. Now we actually have something to do in the game, other than flying around randomly. Let's break down the days to see exactly how I spent my time developing this game. I started out by adding these air zones. They elevate the player up into the air, and it's quite fun to mess around with. Now we recently saw a big increase in playtest search for this game. The playtest discord group doubled in size. And with all of you guys joining, link down below. I felt it was appropriate to add a chat so we can communicate with each other in the game without having to use a mic. I have already made a chat previously in my Club Penguin game, so I can just grab that code and place that into this game. It's not actually as quick as copying and pasting, I still had to recreate the UI and hook up the code to fit into this project. I ended Monday with creating this hoop model that we will use for the minigame. On Tuesday I worked on the paraglider minigame. This is all of the code that makes it work. The manager has a list of all the hoops, and when a player enters a hoop, it simply tells the manager what hoop index was entered. And with that, the manager can with some logic control the timer and the state of the game. It's pretty simple, which is why I decided to add this. A few hours of work for something to actually do in this game, which doesn't have that much gameplay, except for flying around. I also started looking into world generation. If we're going to have cows wandering around, I better figure out a way to spawn them. Not in the air, not inside the ground, but right on top of the ground. I don't know how you normally achieve this, so I figured this out on my own. So a chunk is a 3 dimensional grid of 16 by 16 by 16. I figured let's just pick a random x and z position on the grid and then figure out where the highest block is. I go through the grid from the top and when I find a solid block, we have a position! Here's a video with me continuously picking random positions and drawing them in the game view. As you can see, it works. It's right on top of the blocks. All we need now is a cow. Hey! I found some very nice voxel models that we're temporarily going to have in the game. Check this cow out. Let's add that. Adding the cow was surprisingly fast. I just copied the player movement code, I removed the flying... Now that I think about it, a flying cow would be pretty sweet. No, Tanta, no, no. Anyway, this is a multiplayer game, so I need to add code that will sync the state of the cow to everyone. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a system in place where we could add new creatures and make them work across the network automatically? Indeed it would, and so on Thursday I started working on a system that all creatures would most likely be using in the future. This turned out to be quite big. This system is responsible for syncing the positions of the creatures, and not only that, but also optional components that a creature might have, like health, for example. That has to be synced. At the time of this video, this system is not complete, and it will probably change form a lot during development. But the nice thing is, if I want a chicken, then I can just pretty much do the same thing as with a cow. I don't have to hard code every single networking thing for the creatures. It's exciting to see how well this will work, cause it's not done yet. Frankly, it is quite broken at the moment. Wait, it's working? First try? Uh, oh. So I gotta play this tomorrow, and we got a cow and it's jumping around and it's having a good time. But that's gonna stop now, okay? We're gonna implement basic attacking. And I wanna do that before the playtest tomorrow, so I have some pressure, but it's good pressure. Let's go!
In the playtest we managed to overload the server by just being 6 people. Oh man. I got a lot of great feedback and we even found some bugs. There is a lot of networking things I still need to fix when it comes to the appearance of smooth gameplay. It is a bit rusty at the moment. And that brings us to now. What are my upcoming plans for this project? There is a lot to be done. World generation, a spell system, better networking, spawning system, there's a lot to do. And I wanna make faster progress on this game, and making these videos takes up a really long time. Also, making these videos kind of changes how I work on this game in a sense, because I'm not thinking what is the best thing to do to further the development of this game, I kinda had to think what things are interesting to put into a video. I highly value making these videos, but at this moment, I wanna go on a programming rampage. Aiming for releasing a video once a week, I'm not gonna do anymore. I haven't done that, but that's always been my goal. Editing these videos usually takes me 2 or 3 days. I'm going to focus on implementing battling with enemies. I have to work on the spawning system, animation, health management, AI, and not to mention keep everything in sync. Oh man, there's a lot to do. I wanna grow this YouTube channel, but I also wanna make progress on my game. It's a hard line to walk. Both of these things are incredibly fun, but I need to figure out a way to balance them a bit better, so I'm not switching between video editing and programming, what feels like every other day. It's a progress. Okay, rant over, finally. Stay tuned for next video, hopefully we will have a battling system by then, and uh, it may be a week or a few days more until the next video. Maybe I will see you in the playtest group. Or in the comments. Or uh, in my subscribe and the like.